The Houdats are still flying high around town screaming, Defense! Who needs defense? And this week's foe is so scared of the Saints, they fired their coach. We have so much to talk about, and you went to this great length to click play. You might as well stick around and watch the black and gold today. It's coming up next. Welcome to the Black and Gold Today, sponsored by Cadillac of New Orleans. I'm your host who didn't realize purple adds 20 pounds, Jim Derry. Two days removed from the 101 point affair in the Superdome on Sunday, and everything is right in the world of a Houdat. Their favorite team is never going to lose again, and anyone who thinks differently, like us media types, should go back and listen to what Jim Mora said way back when. You really don't know because you don't know what we're trying to do, you guys don't look at the films, you don't know what happened, you really don't know. You think you know, but you don't know, and you never will, okay? Okay, okay, I get it. I'm not going to be Debbie Down on your parade. Hey, the offense certainly felt Sunday like it could do just about anything it wanted. Right tackle Zach Streif said the team fed off of Drew Brees' efficiency, and, well, they were as well prepared as they possibly could be, obviously. Well, first of all, I think you got to credit the coaching staff for putting the plan together. Um, you know, they did some things, and we, I, I think we felt coming in like we had an answer to everything. Um, and you see a lot of that. I mean, you know, we're basically running a package where Drew has a handful of plays, and we can come up to the ball, and we have answers for whatever types of pressure they want to bring to us. And, and that's, look, that's, a, that's a credit to the staff, and, and they really did put a good plan together. And uh, we can get Drew time, and he has a good plan to work with. You know, he can be now the Saints will face a team in the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. Well, they'll be facing quite the change this week. In fact, as Coach Wizen, Ken Wizenhunt excuse me, walked into work this morning, this was the reception he received. You are so fired. I repeat, fired. I mean, really. Just because he opened up with a 3-20 start over the past season and a half, you fired the poor guy? I mean, they were just one away from Titans fans littering the message boards of the Tennessean.com with posts of, the Titans are going 10-6, and six. you heard it here first. In all seriousness, or at least somewhat serious, the Saints should be on guard as teams with interim coaches have often do well in their first week. See Miami and Dan Campbell versus Tennessee a few weeks ago. They followed that up by rolling past Houston. Well, it's time to pause for a short break, and we'll be right back with Tuesday's Extra Point. What's one of the nicest things that comes with your new Cadillac from Cadillac of New Orleans? 0% interest. Get 0% interest on all new Cadillacs, now at Cadillac of New Orleans. New owners, new attitude, on Lime Street and Rye in Metairie. Today's Astro Point was inspired by the Detroit Lions. They were so bad in London this past Sunday, just days after firing their coaching staff, it obviously didn't work for them. And watching the work of their new offensive coordinator, Jim Bob Cooter, no, that is not a joke. I got to thinking about a story Jeff Duncan wrote recently about the Saints all-time name team and some of my favorites. Well, no one could ever forget the Billy Joes. You know, Billy Joe Hobart, who was on the left, and Billy Joe Tolliver. Never before had there been an NFL duo named Billy Joe, and let's hope it never happens again, unless it's in Atlanta. And back when I was a teenager, one of my favorite players was Guido Merkins. This guy did everything. He was a wide receiver, he punted, and he was the team's third string quarterback. And if he got out of line, he whacked you at the knees. Then there was Pig Goff. I'd ask how you get the name Pig, but he's number 91. He played defensive lineman, and his picture was once hung at the cash register at Golden Corral, alerting employees not to let him in. And don't forget Orlando Ruff. Sort of like Delvin Bro today, Orlando made his way through the Arena League all the way to the Saints defense, which was ranked dead last in the NFL in 2004. One could say it was a rough season. And then there are the all-named kickers. First off, in the late 70s, the Saints had a punter named Rick Partridge. Too bad he didn't play a couple years prior. He could, could have been a teammate of Happy Feller. Yes, Happy Feller. He was a kicker here in New Orleans. Just think if Rick Partridge went to lunch. You could have sang to him. Come on, happy feller. Oh, you guys are a rough crowd. 
That's all for today. Larry's in with us on Wednesday, so you know it's got to get better. See you then.